Hi Plus Tube, it's Rebecca here, Stitching Becca, and this video wasn't planned. Um, I didn't think I would make another one this year, and uh, but I was going through uh, my whips and uh, my patterns and kits, and you know, I was thinking about um, what I wanted to start and what I was what I want to kit up and get materials for so I thought that it was it would be a nice way to you know wrap up the year of 2018 and uh, show you my plans for next year so uh, I thought that I would start uh, with my whips I have them all here um, and I'm going to start with showing you this one. It's Native American Maiden and it's a June Elliott design. And I have started, um, you know, I told you about how I uh, made a mistake and had to rip out the river and the tent that I have been stitching here because I was stitching it with two uh, threads instead of one uh, but I have uh, started to restitch it again so I have started here with the river and I also started with a skirt because um, I needed to have um, see that it was happening something here as well and not just stitch what I already have stitched. Um, so there is what I am with her. Then we have mini sweet trap looking like this. It's a head pattern, a mini. And I haven't stitched anything on this since the last time you saw it. And it looks like this. And you can see here uh, that I st still have to fill in on the first page. And I started parking uh, on the second page. And like that so much more. Then we have Nora Corbett's Buttercup. And I have been stitching on her. And I absolutely, I love how she's turning out on this fabric. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I am switching between uh, stitching on her skirt and the upper part of her body. And I'm thinking about stitching her skin one over one, but it will be a first time. And well, I just don't, I don't know. So we'll see about that. Then we have Max's Moon. It's a Basilla kit. And this one I'm stitching with Leah, a Vatrix stitcher. And we are doing this as a year long sale. Um, so next up, I will start stitching on Max and stitched this little stamp and the evergreen here. It's hard to see, it's such a glare. There you go. And I haven't stitched on this either since the last time you saw it, but it's looking like this. And I really, like how it is turning out on this fabric. It's hard to get a good picture though. 
because it looks so washed out. Then we have a project that I was hoping um, that I would have finished by now. But it's hard, you know, with projects that you don't feel like stitching on. Um, so I don't know. And it's my, it's this birth sampler that I'm making for my son. It's called Baby's Friends Birth Record and it's a dimensions kit. So I have done this. So I guess I will just have to... I'm thinking about having this um, I never put it away um, to have this project by my stitching chair and in between uh, projects that I will just take this um, one thread and stitch that thread so I have some progress on it because I do want I would like to see it finished um, yeah it's really cute I don't know why I don't feel like stitching on it Then we have a project that I haven't touched since May or something. And it's a head pattern, Heaven and Earth Designs, and it's Hope by Melanie Dillon. And I have... Um, on my first page and it looks like this and it's just sky so far but you can see the star I'm beginning to stitch her hair yeah. it's also a project that I need to have just keep stitching on again Another dimensions kit and it's Japanese Maiden. It's a gold collection kit. And I have stitched enjoy this kit yeah. Yeah, the start of the gold in her kimono 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 um, and I have I, I'm, I think that I will start stitching the background finish up that part and finishing stitching down her kimono and then travel to the other side to stitch this corner here. Mm. Then we have, I don't know the name of this pattern. It's a DMC kit, Permian of Copenhagen, no. It's Permanent Copenhagen. 
um, but it doesn't have a name and on this I have stitched Oops. this much and this will be a focus to finish um, next year because I have already stitched like half of it and it stitches up pretty fast I just need to really sit with it and just stitch away on it Um, I do have some finishes, or I have one finish, <laughs> but I will be showing that in my regular floss tube, um, maybe in January sometime, or maybe even February now when I do in this video. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so that was my whips. Um, and uh, just to mention it, I did enter, um, oh, oh, what's the name? Uh, soulful, soulful stitching, the, when you enter with, uh, at least 15 whips I think it was and you should finish half of them uh, that was your goal or the goal is to finish everything but um, at least half of them and I didn't manage that but I am so happy that I participated because I finished up some really old whips you know, if you remember my, remember my aprons uh, with the Santas on them uh, and uh, the piece for my mom. Um, and it, it kept me going on things that I know I would not have stitched uh, if I wasn't participating in um, Euro Whips. Euro Whips, it's called. Um, so thankful for that and I'm um, happy with my progress uh, anyway uh, I have not entered uh, for 2019 because I hadn't I had much going on and I hadn't um, you know sorted out what I wanted to start or and I haven't started it and so uh, but I can recommend it to others and I might participate for 2020 if it still is going then. Um, then I was talking with Leah, a Vatrix teacher, and we are going to start uh, another stitch along uh, because she has a stocking that she wants to have uh, finished for 2019. Uh, and I said that, well, I have one too. I have actually have three. <laughs> that I would like to finish, but at least finish one for next year. Uh, and I want to start with this one. It's for my daughter, Elsa, and it's called uh, Sweet Dreams Stocking. It's a Dimension School kit. Uh, and I said to her that, why don't we stitch it together? And we have a hash hashtag on Instagram and everything, um, because she was talking about stitching on it every Sunday. Um, and I thought that sounded like a good plan. And if I stitch more than just Sunday or any other days instead, that's totally fine. But at least stitch on uh, the stocking one day uh, in every week. And so we came up with the hashtag stitch that stocking 2019. Um, so feel free to join in. Uh, the more, the merrier, and it's always f um, fun 
fun and you get the motivation and inspiration uh, when you see other work on their whips. Uh, so I will write that hashtag down below and if you have a stocking, it doesn't have to be Dimensions. Uh, please join us. Um, and um, I need to get my wait. So I have. Um, some new starts, uh, but they are digital patterns, so I'm going to show them to you here. Um, <clears throat> I don't, uh, if you heard that this year it was uh, Jane Austen sale going on for the whole year, and they were reading the books, stitching Jane Austen uh, pieces, and next year it's gonna be Harry Potter. So uh, I jumped on that uh, kind of quickly. Uh, and it's the group is on Facebook and it's called School of Magic Stitches and Literature. And we are going to st um, stitch Harry Potter related pieces and read the books. Uh, and I think it is like we have, I don't know, one to two months uh, on the books. It's a schedule. I don't know it in my head. And we have been sorted into houses. And if you participate in the challenges, uh, the houses get points. So it's it's so fun. <laughs> uh, and I have been sorted into Gryffindor, which I very excited about because that was what the sorting hat at Podmore was sorting me in and I have been sorted into Gryffindor before uh, and I am going to stitch I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good and this is a retired design um, by Fiddlesticks and I am stitching the blue version uh, and the red one. A one for Elsa and one for Alfred. And I am switching out this yellow part swerves here to gold. And I, but I don't have the fabric yet. Uh, I'm thinking about stitching this on, um, I don't know, some beiges kind of fabric. I don't know. I have ordered some but I haven't received it yet. So that was that. And another start will be my Less More series from Lisa Kate. And here I have also ordered the fabrics and the threads, uh, but I haven't received them yet. And I'm thinking about starting this um, in March or April, I think. And it's talk less, say more. Wine less, breathe more. Fear less, hope more. And hate less, love more. So really looking forward to that one. Uh, and then I am going to start a Christmas design. And it's called Christmas Songs. And it is from Rocking Horse Cross Stitch. And now I'm showing you the pattern. Wait, there. It's, I love Christmas song, I really do. It's looking like that and I am planning on stitching it on 
this. It's Belfast 32 count gold fleck natural linen. And it's a gorgeous uh, fabric with gold threads in it. And I'm stitching it with these Christmassy threads. Uh, and this is a uh, project that I've been wanting to start for almost a whole year. Um, my next uh, new start is its a dimensions kit from Charts and Charms and it's called um, Alluring Sorceress but yet again I don't have the fabric or the threads for it yet and this will be a false start maybe in August, September sometimes My next start is a soda stitch design called Lover by My Side. It looks like this. And this is a start that I was debating with myself because I have I don't know where to put this in my house. I just think it's really cute and looks like fun to stitch. Uh, and I'm gonna stitch it on this fabric and it's Line, 32 count mushroom logan. No, no, it's not. I don't know. It's the fa same fabric that I stitched uh, Joyful World October on. I'm gonna look it up if someone wondering. My next start is a Doreen Jones. Um, Pattern called Counting Sample. It's super cute, and I want to stitch it for my daughter. And this one I would love to have finished this year while, while she will still enjoy it. And it looks like this. And I'm planning to stitch it on this fabric and I don't know what this is called because I bought this at the craft show uh, and it wasn't specified the name of it but it's an even weave um, I think it's 28 count so I think that will look really nice Mm. The next one I plan to start is this one. It's Sand and Polar Bear and it's a John Elliott design. And that is for my son. It's the only pattern that he has said he wanted me to stitch. So, And I'm planning on stitching it on Brittany Lugana Pearl Flick white fabric. And I'm not taking it out of plastic but I think you get the idea. I think it will look gorgeous. Like glimmering snow. And here are the acrylic threads and the beads are on the way. And I already have the um, threads for it. Mm, then I would love to start my first Santa. It's a Millil kit. Um, and this one is called Jamaican Santa. It's got lots and lots of beads. Uh, Nell, that has little jelly house crafts, it's stitched, has stitched a lot of these. And I think she's collecting all of them. And they look gorgeous. So nice. Uh, the next kit is the one I got from my hubby on my birthday and it's called The Evening City and it's an RTO kit. Um, looks like this. Love that the threads are pre-sorted. 
looking forward. I think I might start this in May. Maybe on my birthday. That would be nice. Okay, and the last one <laughs> is the one that I would that I said would be my new year new start last year. Um, and it's a Teresa Wensler called Tapestry Cat. And I have all the fabric and the threads and the beads and everything for it. All ready to go. So, finally, it's getting started. Um, uh, when you go through what you have, you kind of want to start a lot of things. Um, and I feel that this might be a little bit much for me, but um, I'm thinking that, okay, so it's a lot of starts this year, but then my the year of uh, 2020 might be uh, a focus on whips year and not so many starts. Um, so I feel totally okay with it and I'm looking forward to start these uh, these things and working on the whips that I have. Then I have some, uh, I have a little pile with um, uh, patterns that I would like to start next year but I don't have uh, the threads or fabrics or beads or anything that's needed for them. And the first one is Marybilia Design Blossom Goddess. Uh, and this pile, by the way, it's, it's like, I'm calling it my maybe pile. Uh, it depends on, do I find the fabric that I want, um, that I think will look great uh, with these projects. Uh, so we'll see. And here is Blossom Goddess. And, and or uh, the Raven Queen. And I'm debating by myself if I would stitch it on this call for fabric or if I should have a greyish um, hand dyed fabric. I don't know. And the next one in my maybe pile is um, John Elliott's Mother Moon. And it's also, it's all depending on do I find the fabric that I really want to stitch them on. Then I have this one, Lavender and Lace Spring. I wanted to start this one for years. No, not years. It's years, but I haven't had a pattern for so long. But, but I want the right fabric and I haven't found it yet. And a Doma stitch pattern. This is Brave. Um, and I have White Ida for it, but I don't know if I want to stitch it on White Ida. Or how I want it to be. I haven't decided yet. And the last one is um, the Teach Yourself series. Uh, uh, very eager to start this one. It's beautiful, lots of acrylic, um, but haven't. Uh, I don't have any of the acrylics or fabrics or threads or anything for it. So it's in my maybe pile. So. Um, that was my whips and my plans, and plans can change. Um, what I feel like stitching now and think, ah, oh, I can start it in summer or in October or November. I might not want to start when we get to the summer or November or October or whatever. Um, so uh, I have my reservations. <laughs> it's, it's plans. And we love making plans, don't we? Uh, and we love changing plans. Uh, so, 
uh, that's a bit from me and my thoughts about the next year uh, and I'm looking forward to it a lot um, uh, so now I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone and we hope that it will be filled with lots and lots of stitchy time so take care everyone bye